Hello, my friends. I hope today finds you well. Um, I was listening to a podcast on anxiety this morning, and something it just triggered something in my head that I thought I would talk about today. Now, this wasn't from the video. It was just something that was said in the video that sparked something, a, a thought that I had, and how I might express something a little bit differently. Um, I... I do these videos every once in a while, but when I share anything about the breath or whatever, it's mostly just coming from a little practical, some little practical things you can do within your daily life throughout the day. And I don't necessarily have, I don't personally have, I'm trying to kind of figure out where I want to go with that, but I don't have like a formal breath practice. I use breathing and I use various breathing techniques um, just throughout the day and in different situations. And when he was saying something this morning, like I say, not about breath, but he was just talking about a formal practice versus what things you can just do in the moment, um, you know, to help yourself with that. And one of those is, is I'm checking in all, I'm getting better and better. I actually wear a bracelet from time to time that says breathe on it to kind of remind myself to check in on myself throughout the day and just, you know, uh, take a few deep breaths just to regroup or just to kind of check and see where my breathing is because as, go, as goes our breathing, generally goes our state of minds. When you're anxious, when you have stress, when you're fearful, you'll probably notice that we tend to take these uh, kind of short breaths. We're more, we're more chest breathers. And one thing also too, as I've talked about, as I've talked about breath work a number of times or different types of breathing, I would really look into um, diaphragmatic or belly breathing because so many people are just breathing from a very shallow just taking these very shallow breaths into their into their chest um, and I did a video a uh, couple of videos ago um, talking about calming your calming yourself and settling your central nervous system and the particular one I was talking about there you can go back and watch the video like I say it was like two videos back was uh, a longer exhale than inhale and specifically the exhale being double the length of the inhale but I find myself and not even really prompted by the bracelet I just started wearing that again because I wanted to check in even more with myself throughout the day but I find myself doing that breath a number of times throughout the day I find myself doing that breath a lot in the evenings um, I've found that I can almost put myself to sleep, which I've had sleep issues for years and years and years, but uh, I just, um, it's not like any massive thing where I close my eyes and get all serious about it. It's just when I'm laying in bed at night, and a lot of times the TV's on, um, but it's just background noise, um, you know, with something on YouTube, and what I will do is just kind of settle in, and I will start breathing like that. I'll breathe for an in-count of four an in-breath of four and an out-breath of eight um, and I've found like the five or six times that I've done this that I end up falling asleep earlier than I normally do and I kind of uh, fall asleep uh, on accident which just never really happens it's usually you know it takes a while but and I've just started to where I do this more and more throughout the day and I find it just kind of centers me and it kind of eases up on that anxiety that I've, I've dealt with for the last few years. And also I'll always like to bring it back here because people do deal with real serious anxiety. Mine is more kind of a mental thing than a physical thing um, in my body. So there's some people that actually need to see a doctor, need to see seek professional help when they have like real deep anxiety. But for a lot of us, it's just as much, it's just about checking in on that breath during the day, seeing where we are. And I would say that this you can do wherever you are. It's not like you're stopping to meditate. You don't even need to stop and close your eyes if, it, if you can't. Um, maybe you have something that you can wear every day that will remind you about that. Maybe you can put a, maybe it's simple as putting just a little post-it note on your computer screen if you're at work and you're working on a computer or wherever you are posting yourself a little, putting a little post-it that just says breathe breathe I had one I need to put it it fell off my door in my room I had one in my room that would remind me that to just start the day every day but um, 
if you will just remember these things and like I say it can be just one breath just to check in on yourself um, but if I find if you will do this regularly and more and more throughout the day because the more you do it the more of a kind of a habit it becomes that you can kind of just keep yourself more on an even keel and once again it doesn't it doesn't have to be some formal breath work practice because if you're like me I'm in South Alabama most things about breath work and things like and any of the sort I'm uh, learning about reading or I'm learning about through YouTube um, and you know a lot of people that actually practice breath work formal breath work um, have a teacher have someone that teach them various techniques but there's so many it can just begin with just deep breathing just like I say, if you learn how to truly take a deep diaphragmatic uh, breath and it's just about taking that deep breath in, taking that deep breath out. And it's about, it brings us back to awareness. It brings us back to the now. And I think about, I think being in the now even more so, okay, the breath actually helps to regulate our, para, or initiate our parasympathetic nervous system, calming down our whole nervous system. But there's also, that's the physical, but there's also just something about checking in. When you take that breath, when you take an in-breath, and you're just aware you're breathing in, and you breathe out, and you're aware that you're breathing out, that's when you are in the now. You're in the moment. And as I heard somebody say in something I was listening to over the weekend, nothing has ever happened to you except now the past the future that's that's memories and that's just projections into what might happen but everything that has ever happened to you in your life important insignificant and in between is in the now and when we can the more we can bring our attention our focus our minds into the now that tends to just make us calmer people in general so anyhow just a little uh, quick share for a monday uh, like I say, hope you're all doing well. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you later throughout the week. Peace.